Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about percents, decimals, and fractions, everyone's favorite, with the goal being that you can convert between the different forms. And this will really help us uh, write and talk about profit margins and business decisions. First few rows here we have some percents and I'm going to show you how to convert them into decimals and then fractions. Starting with 37%. So this may be familiar, but 37% as a decimal is 0.37. What you may not know is why. Okay, so when you look at a percent or decimal, uh, you have to look at it in certain places, like the tens, ones, hundreds, you may have heard of this before. So looking at this decimal, the three is in the tens place, the seven then is in the hundredths, if you had another one that would be the thousands, then the ten thousands, so on and so forth. We don't have those though. So the three being in the tens place means we have three tens, or three tens is 30. So we get 30%, and then the seven tells us 37%. Okay, or the way you can go between decimal and percent is by moving the decimal over two places, either to the right or the left. So if I move this two places over to the right, it's 37%. The reason is um, to get from decimal to percent, you multiply by 100. Demonstrate here. 0.37 times 100 is 37 or 37%. Okay, or 37 divided by 100, then we'll take it to the decimal to get it into the hundredths place here. That's how you go from percent to decimal. Okay, so um, let's look at 8% and 4.2%. Okay, 8%, a common wrong answer, and I'm saying common wrong answer, would be to say 0.8. But remember, 8 is in the tens place, so that would be like 80 and 0.80 is definitely not 8%. Okay, so you might be like, hmm, what is it? And then you could do what I just said and say, okay, what's eight divided by 100 to go from percent to decimal, and it's 0.08. Okay, so it says it's only 8%, it's eight out of 100. Um, it needs to be in the hundredths place. It's like just having this part here. So 8% is 0.08. Let's try 4.2. So you can divide by 100 if you want to go backwards to get the decimal. Okay, or since you see 4% is kind of like 8%, 4 would be in the hundredths place. So it'd be 0 0.04. Um, but then the 2 would be in the thousandths place. Okay, or like I said here, you can move the decimal place over twice to get that 8%. So if I move this over twice, it would be an eight. If I move this over twice, it'd be a 4.2. Okay, or you can go backwards and say, you know, this is 37.0 technically. If I move the decimal over twice this way, it's 0.37. Okay, whatever strategy you like best, hopefully this is somewhat a review and it's jogging your memory. Since I, since I just mentioned that, that can help us with these two problems going from decimal into the percent. So 0.28, uh, you can multiply that by 100 if you want to use that strategy. So 0.28 times 100, what would you get? Would be 28%, which makes sense because two is in the tens place. So that'd be two tens, which is 20, and then eight. So to convert that, this would be 28%. Or you can use a strategy of moving the decimal place over twice, which I could also do here. Move it over twice, and the decimal place would be after the five. So it is 5.0 or just 5%, um, because again, this is in the hundredths place, it's kind of like this 0.081. Okay, last but not least, let's deal with fractions, everybody's favorite. Don't worry, it's not too bad. So in order to talk about fractions, we need to understand that a percent is just a portion out of 100%. Okay, so 100% is the total. We have 37 out of 100. Um, it's like a little bit less than half, right? Um, so you're talking about what portion out of 100% you have. And that's exactly how you're going to convert percent to fraction, is you're going to tell me what portion out of 100 you have. So if it's 37%, it's like you have $37 out of $100. And that would convert it to a fraction. Or if it's 8%, it's like you have $8 out of the total of $100. Okay, so you're taking the part you have out of the total which for a percent, the total is always going to be 100. Um, but in other fractions, it might be a different total. 
you may need to do though in fractions is make sure it's in its simplest form. So for example, an eight out of 100, I know that can be reduced. Um, they can both be divided by two. So you need to reduce them proportionately by dividing the numerator and the denominator by two. Eight divided by two is four, 100 divided by two is 50. And you might be saying, Miss Mancini, those can be divided again by two, can't they? Four divided by two is two, 50 divided by two is 25. You're absolutely right. You may have to reduce them more than once. Okay, or you can avoid that by, in the first place, dividing them by um, the biggest factor that goes into both, or the greatest common factor, which would have been four. Um, eight divided by four is two, 100 divided by four is 25. You could have skipped a step, um, but only if you recognize that. If not, you can just reduce it a couple different times. So we always want our fractions in simplest form. Threw a tricky one out here. Uh, some people might want to say 4.2 out of 100. While that's not wrong, it's not the best way to write this. So in order to get rid of that decimal place, we could multiply this by 10 to get 42. And if we multiply this by 10, we also have to multiply this by 10, which makes it 42 out of 1,000 is our fraction for this one. Okay, why that makes sense, this one goes tens place and hundreds place. This one goes tens, hundred, thousand, which is why it makes most sense to have it out of a thousand this time. Um, so that's why I said part out of total. Usually it's out of 100%, um, but sometimes it may be more useful to write it out of a thousand percent. And yes, you can reduce this one by dividing at least by two, if not a bigger factor. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as that because I want to make the point that um, in some examples, you may want to write it as a different factor of 10 for the denominator, just depending on how many decimal places you have. So again, this is tens, hundreds is the second place, and the third place would be thousands. Okay, so instead of 4.2, you can multiply by 10 as long as you scale them both the same way, that's fine. Um, so it'd be 42 out of 1,000. Right. Last but not least, what if I have a fraction and I want to convert into these guys? Key is remembering that fractions just mean division. I'm even going to write that down. You should as well. Okay, so fraction just means division. So when you say 2 over 5, that really means 2 divided by 5. Or when you say 27 over 50, that really means 27 divided by 50. Okay, that fraction bar is just a division bar. And that's exactly how you're going to convert into a decimal, is what is 2 out of 5? Um, it really means what is 2 divided by 5. If you do that, you're going to get the decimal. So 2 out of 5 is 2 divided by 5 is 0.4, or 0 0.4. Okay, which 4 is in the tens place. Right, so it's four tens, which is actually 40%. If you really like, you can write this as 0 0.40 if that helps you remember. Let's do 27 out of 52 for good measure. So 27 out of 50 just means 27 divided by 50, which is 0.54. That's how you convert then from fraction to decimal, which that's five tens and then another four, so that's 54%, or you can move the decimal over twice. So that's how you convert between any of the forms. There's a couple I didn't do that I want you to try now on your own. So can you convert 5% and 28% to fractions? We haven't done that part yet. In a moment, I'll come back with the answer, see what you come up with. 5% as a fraction would be 5 out of 100, because you have 5 out of 100%, which can then be reduced by dividing both by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 100 divided by 5 is 20. Simplified fraction, final answer would then be 1 out of 20. Okay, 28% 28 is 28 out of 100. Okay, 28 out of 100, they can both be divided by 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7, 100 divided by 4 is 25. This would be your best final answer. Okay, you'll notice I did not venture into the thousands for 5% because the decimal did not venture into the thousands place, so I did not need to. Five out of 100 is okay. 
rather than like 5.2 out of 100 would just be like weird to say. So we don't want decimals within fractions. I'm going to go ahead and summarize and then we'll conclude this video. So first and foremost, explain how you go from percent to decimal. So that was from here to here. Okay, option one is you can divide by 100. Option two is you can move the decimal place over twice to the left. So if the decimal place is here, you go 1, 2 to the left and it's 0.37. Move decimal twice to the left. Okay, now explain how you convert a decimal to a percentage. You're going to do the opposite. You can either multiply by 100, so 0.54 times 100 is 54, or you can move the decimal twice to the right because it's getting bigger. So you want to move it twice to the right. 1, 2, 0. 0.54 is 54%. That makes sense. Let's make that a little bit smaller here. Okay, last but not least, explain how you convert a fraction into a percentage. First, you are going to divide the numerator. Let's try that again. Numerator by the denominator. Example is take 2 and divide by 5. Okay. Then, after you've converted it, or after you divided it, you're going to get a decimal from your calculator. And then you go from decimal to percent from the instructions above. Okay, and this last one is really going to be important as we're talking about profit margins. Because profit margins you're going to write as a ratio. So this could mean you keep $42 in profit out of every 1,000 you bring in. And you're going to want to be able to convert that into a percent like Point or 4.2 percent, so you can explain what your most profitable solutions are. Okay. Otherwise, all of this is good skills to have for business. Um, so if you have any questions on how I converted things, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video.